so we are doing capital structure of limited company this is your second chapter of the limited company here you need to know the theory because you will be tested on the theory and based on your theory you would also be able to do your sums uh, which requires application are you with mm. me yes So uh, now we are going to talk about reserves. Can you tell me what are reserves? Must your profits kept aside. And how many types of reserves are kept uh, are there? General, revaluation. No, but what are the main two types of reserves? Main two types of reserves. General reserves. One would be the revenue reserves. Oh, okay, revenue reserves and capital reserves. What is revenue reserves? Miss, uh, basically the profits that you have made from the revenue are kept aside. Revenue reserves are called free reserves. What are they? Free reserves. When I talk about free reserve, means what? Revenue reserves. Means what? Where? Why do I say it's free? Uh, it can be used on anything. It can be used for any purposes. So the profits which is not distributed to the shareholders are generally the revenue reserves. When I say revenue reserves, that means it is created from our day-to-day -day activities. When I say it is created from your day-to-day -day activities, that means this is the normal activities profit that the business had earned, but it is not distributed to the shareholders and it is a revenue reserve which will go into which heading, which will be labeled as what? Day-to-day -day activities. No, but the revenue reserves, the profits that is not distributed to the shareholders will be labeled to a section. What is that section called? Oh, okay. That's general reserve. That section is called retained earnings. So yes, whatever, but it is not going anywhere, right? earn, whatever profit you earn after yeah. removing the tax, it is directly transferred to the retained earnings. Yeah, Miss Putin, retained earnings can only be used for into the business, right? Retained earnings can use can be used for anything. Hmm. These are free reserves. This can be used for anything that you want. And from the retained earnings, you can pay dividend. You can do anything. And what if you want to transfer it to somewhere for some fixed purpose or for some uncertain purpose or for some anything, you will transfer it from the retained earnings. You can transfer to general reserves or any other thing. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. So the profits which the shareholders have not taken away and it is kept in the business okay that will be available for payment of dividend and for transfer to other reserves it is called what reserves it is called which was labeled under what heading retained it is labeled under the retained earnings Okay, now understand one thing. Your reserves are classified into two parts. One is revenue reserves. One is capital reserves. Revenue reserves, that means all the profit that you have earned goes under the label of retained earnings. And retained earnings is a free reserve. It can be used for anything. Are you with me? Yeah. When I talk about capital reserves, that means it will be created for some specific purposes. When I talk about capital reserves, it means it will be created for some specific purposes. You can transfer money from the retained earnings to any named capital reserve or a capital reserve is created by itself like the share premium account when you issue shares to people, to shareholders at a premium, a reserve is created, which is called what? 
share premium reserve share premium account when you revalue your assets a reserve is automatically created which is called what revaluation reserve revaluation reserves so capital reserves can be automatically created or you can also create it by transferring it from the retained earnings to a specific reserve are you with me yes sir the first reserve that i am talking about in your capital reserve is your crr which is called capital replacement reserve this is important it comes as a theory so you should know about it the first reserve is called the capital replacement Replace. reserve why do i create this reserve they say that at some point of time in the future you might need to replace your non current assets is it possible that at some point of time in the future you might need to replace your non current assets yes okay fine if you need to replace your non current asset means at that point of time you will be using huge funds yes okay. and to avail or to have this huge amount of funds is practically like a little stress for the company depends miss if it's a huge non current asset and i have to i tell you go and buy it and immediately if you have to do it you will think 10 times before going and buying it yes yes okay but if say for example every year uh, say your capital non current asset is for 10000 dollars i would say take an example you want to buy an iphone which cost 10000 dollars Okay. but you decide to buy this after 10 months okay if every month from the profits that you are earning from the profits that you are generating which is in where retained earnings you transfer dollar 1000 every month and you save it so after 10 months if you have to buy this uh, iphone will you think yeah No, no, no! You won't because you have enough. Because you already have the money to replace your phone. Yeah. Okay. So, if you, what does the company do? That every year from the retained earnings, they transfer some money to a reserve which is called the CRR, which is in the, the capital replacement reserve, where they think that. your non current assets after some point of time will definitely require replacement and your shareholders are also aware that any non current asset loses its usefulness after a particular period of time and those non current assets would definitely require replacement yes yeah so what do the uh, directors or the shareholders do they transfer the money from the retained earnings to a reserve that can be used to replace the non current assets yeah and the name of that reserve is capital re replacement replacement reserve, reserve. miss so this capital uh, replacement reserve uh, do they like plan it ahead or they of course plan it ahead because from the retained earnings they are going to transfer the money for a specific purpose yeah okay if they are going to transfer the money for a specific purpose that means this money can be used for that specific purpose only yes miss that means the crr cannot be used to pay dividend yeah so capital yes, replacement reserve is a capital reserve that is created from the retained earnings thinking that in the future your non current asset might require replacement and when this replacement needs to be done 
you can use the money from the crr are you with me yes miss okay one is the capital re replacement reserve another reserve is the crr again but this is the capital redemption reserve what is it capital redemption reserve capital means a share capital yeah redemption means giving back giving back mm -hmm. so when you are going to give back your capital capital redemption reserve so when you are going to give back your capital or you are such type of a company who buys back its own shares i'm re repeating again you buy back own shares bye bye cold shares without issuing new shares to fund the redemption you create a reserve which is called the capital redemption reserve okay yep you have two types of share capital one is the ordinary share capital and one is the preference share capital preference share capital it carries a fixed rate of dividend which has to be paid irrespective of the fact whether you earn profits or not are you with me yes ma'am sir okay fine say uh, sahil you are my preference shareholder and every year i have to pay you 7% dividend whether i earn profit or not yep okay this preference shares are redeemable that means if i want i can take back this shares from you ordinary share capital is uh, salma i am the ordinary shareholder and sahil you are a preference shareholder who has preference over me over salma are you with me, me? yeah okay fine so now if i decide that i want to take back your shares what do i want to do i take want back. to buy back the shares buy back shares from you okay so if i want to buy back the share from you i can do it say the share that you have is costing 100000 pound which is again a big amount of money is it yes is it or not it is it is okay now what i can do is i can buy back the shares from you to buy back this shares from you i have two options one option is that i issue i do a fresh issue of new share but the new share would be ordinary shares that means i issue ordinary share to somebody take money from that somebody and i pay it to you if i take back your share i have to pay you right yeah okay there is two way to pay you back one way to pay you back is i do a complete fresh issue i bring somebody else who is not a preference shareholder that somebody else is an ordinary shareholder i take money from him and i give it to you are you understanding mm, no <clears throat> you are a preference shareholder and yeah. you have shares which is worth 100000 pound okay i don't want to give you 7% dividend every year i want to remove you So yeah. in that case, I will have to buy back. The company has to buy the shares that is issued to you. So I buy back my own shares. First, understand that to remove you, I will have to buy this hundred thousand. I am an ordinary shareholder. If I want to outside the company. i will have to buy back this 100000 so at yeah. the same value at the same value okay okay you cannot get something more 
unless and until I decide to. I can buy back at premium also, but let's now talk about at the same money. Okay. To pay you this hundred thousand pounds. What I do is I bring in somebody else. I take money from him and I pay you. Say I bring in him. And you bring I a third party and they buy it for you. I bring him and I tell her you are also an ordinary shareholder. So I bring in Hind as an ordinary shareholder. <clears throat> I pay, I take hundred thousand pound from her and I pay to you. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, got it. That means I am buying your shares by doing a fresh issue of new share. Hmm. Understand? What am I doing? You're buying uh, back the shares I'm by issuing back new the one. shares by doing a fresh issue of new shares. Yeah. Yeah. But say, I do not need to bring in Hind, but at the same time, I can remove you from the company. My retained earnings, my retained earnings have a lot of funds, and say my retained earnings have two. Hundred thousand pound in the retained earnings, and I want to remove you. How do I do? What do I do? I transfer money from the retained earnings to another reserve, which is called the capital redemption reserve. What is it called? Capital redemption reserve. So from the retained earning, I transfer one thousand one hundred thousand pound to capital redemption reserve. And then I will use this reserves to pay you. Yeah. From the retained earnings, I transfer money to a reserve which is called capital redemption reserve. That means if I want to buy back my shares, I can use this reserve. Capital redemption reserve. Okay. So from the retained earnings, I transfer money to CRR. And from the CRR, I transfer the money to you. That means I have bought back new share. I have bought back your shares without a fresh issue by using the CRR. Yeah. Okay. So I reduce my retained earnings. I transfer Increase. the money from retained earnings to CRR, and from the CRR I pay it to you. So capital redemption reserve is created when you buy back your own shares. I'm repeating again. When is a CRR created? A capital redemption reserve is created when you buy back own shares. That is, I'm buying back shares of my own company, right? Yeah. But without fresh issue. Without fresh issue of new shares. That means I'm not bringing in somebody to fund the buyback. Yes, I am you. using my retained earnings to fund the buyback. So from the retained earnings, I transfer money to a reserve which is called the CRR. Then I use the CRR to pay you back. Okay? Yes, ma'am. If the company has a habit of creating CRR, then this reserve can also be used for bonus shares, bonus issue, to give shares free of cost to shareholders. So CRR can be used to buy back shares. CRR can be used to buy back shares, and CRR can be used for bonus issue. I'm giving you time. Please write it. Another type of reserve is called the foreign exchange reserve. What is it called? Foreign exchange reserve. Foreign exchange. If the company is doing trading internationally, okay? So if the company is trading internationally, so it will need to buy and sell inventories in foreign currencies. Currency of euros, pounds, uh, francs, yeah. dirham. So they need to buy and sell inventory using money of different currencies of different countries. Yep. The value of the currency in 
the terms of one country to the other keeps on fluctuating and it fluctuates very significantly okay if the value of your currency falls if the value of your currency falls then your inventory will become expensive understand now rupee 1 is equal to uh, no sorry rupees 22.46 is equal to 180 okay if you are buying some inventory worth 100 ad so you will have to spend 2 2 4 6 2400 2.46 okay are you with me yeah miss but if the value of dirham falls the value of ad if it falls then you will get 1 ad for rupees 24 if the value of dirham falls the value of indian rupee will be higher so now what dirham would you would get it for 24 rupees okay so to buy inventory worth 100 ad you will have to spend 2400 are you with me yes so your material cost will become more expensive instead of spending rupees 2246 you are spending 2400 and your profits will reduce if the value of any currency falls are you with me yes miss okay so if the value of currency would fall anywhere your cost of material would become expensive and then you would need money to fund it so from where would you use this money so you can use this money either from retained earnings or you can do one thing that for this normal foreign uh, uh, trading internationally you keep some money aside always from the retained earnings to which reserve foreign exchange reserve okay remember again foreign exchange reserve is created to cover the loss caused by the fluctuation in the exchange rate i'm repeating again foreign exchange reserve why is it created you need to learn the reason for It's creating the reserve to cover the yeah. loss caused by fluctuation in exchange rates of foreign currencies you can use this to issue bonus shares you can use this to cover the loss due to fluctuation of exchange rates and if it is not used you can transfer back to the retained earnings so there are three new reserves that i wanted to explain you one was the capital redemption reserve one was the foreign exchange reserve and one is what capital replacement capital <coughs> now these are the names of your revenue reserves and these are the names of your capital reserves are you with me yes when i say these are revenue reserves that means if you're not using this money you can retransfer it to retained earnings if i am not using general reserves capital replacement or foreign exchange reserve this money can be retransferred to the retained earnings retained earnings that is why this is called the revenue reserves your first revenue reserve is retained earnings it is built from your normal activities whatever profit you get after tax is given to the retained earnings what you can do out of the retained earnings you can pay dividend out of retained earnings you can give bonus shares you can transfer to other reserves if the balance of the reserve is insufficient okay hmm general reserves from where it is created from the uh, retained earnings okay it is for unspecified purpose unspecified company can use it but we don't know the use okay <sighs> Company so, 
adopted for the expansion of the company or for some other purposes which is related to the company other than giving it to the shareholders. Yeah. So, Mr. Uh, shareholders, they can use it from here. Yeah, from writing on the just think that we want to do something for the company, but the purpose is not specified, then they can transfer money from year to year. Mm -mm. Got it. And it can also be used for bonus shares, giving bonus shares. If not used, you can transfer back to retainer. So, Miss, if you uh, let's say unspecified use, so if they use it for something, does it not get uh, mentioned where the money went? Or, or the company. See, usually you can expand the company, so you can use from general reserves. You want to buy something, you use it from general reserves. All okay. your retail earnings that you create from all your revenue reserves that you create from the retained earnings, I'm repeating again, all the revenue reserves that you create from the retained earnings can be transferred back again to retained earnings. Mm. Other than that, all your revenue reserves can be used for bonus issue. All of them can be used to issue all bonus. All the revenue reserves can be used for bonus issue. Even the retained earnings. Okay. So all the revenue reserves can be used for bonus issue. All the revenue reserves, if not needed, can be even transferred back to the retained earnings. Okay? Yeah. The capital replacement reserve, it can be used for replacement of non-current assets. Foreign exchange reserve, it is used for covering the loss that is caused by the fluctuation in the exchange rates of your foreign currency. So, this is your revenue reserve table. You need to learn this very clearly. From where is it created and for what it is created? What is the use of that reserve? Are you with me? Yeah, miss. Sure. So, like, uh, I mean, anyways, the creation is all from retained earnings itself. Creation is all from retained earnings that you know now. If yeah. they ask you in the paper, you should be able to write it also, no? Huh, yeah, okay, yeah, miss. And the use also. Of course. Now, capital reserves. What are the three types of capital reserves that you're looking at learning? One is share premium, one is the revaluation reserve, and one is the CRR, but the capital redemption reserve. Are you with me? Yes, miss. So one is the share premium. Can you tell me share premium? When you so issue the ordinary shares above the face value, above the nominal value, face value, or par value, a reserve is automatically getting created and the name of that reserve is share premium. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can use this share premium to give bonus shares. One. If you are buying back your shares, then you say now you want to give something above the face value. So yes. whatever you want to give above the face value, that is called the premium on buyback of shares or you could say premium on redemption of shares. Okay. Okay. So you can use the share premium if you want to buy back your own shares at a higher price. So the premium amount can be used from this premium. Save our example was Sahil had shares of 100 thousand pounds if i pay you back okay i redeem the shares of 100000 at 100000 i can use the crr or i can do fresh issue but if i redeem the shares or i buy back the shares at 120000 so the 20000 extra i can use from share premium Okay, I can reduce the share premium and I can pay you. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, revaluation reserve. Tell me how is a revaluation reserve created? Through the upward re revaluation of non current assets. Okay. And if the asset, uh, for what you can use it to write off loss on revaluation? Now, understand one thing if your asset is sold, the asset that you've revalued, if it is sold, then this reserve has to automatically get transferred to the retained earnings. You can use it to write off loss on revaluation. So if you have any further loss on revaluation, you can use this reserve. And if your asset is sold, you use, take this reserve and transfer it back to, to which return earnings. Okay, what is a capital redemption reserve? It's the buying back of shares. It is the buying back of shares if it is not financed by fresh sale. Okay. And you can use it for issue of bonus shares. I'm giving you some time. Just read it. These are the revenue reserves that you need to learn. How is it created and for what it is used. Similarly, capital reserves that you need to learn. How is it created and for what it is used. What is dividend? What is dividend? Is there like the profits uh, distributed to the shareholders? After tax profit, it is given to the shareholders based on the number of shares. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, fine. Come on. I am teaching you how to make a share capital account and how to make a share premium account. Okay. Capital account always has which balance? Debit balance. Credit. C for capital, C for credit. A capital account will always have a credit balance. Are you with me? Yes. Share premium. We'll have a debit one. Share premium is profits. And the rule of nominal account is what? Uh, profits are debit. Debit is all expenses and losses. Profit is all credit. So uh, share premium will also have always a credit balance. Are you with me? Yes, miss. Okay, fine. Look at this example. Can you please read it? A company has issued 100,000 ordinary shares of 50 pence each at 31st How many shares? 100,000. Ordinary shares. So these are the shares. What is the face value of the shares? 0 0.50. Shares into the face value will always give you the capital. Yeah. So what is the capital? 50. 50,000. So the company has issued how many shares? 100,000 ordinary shares of 50 each, you're making the share capital account. So in your share capital account, you will have 50,000 capital that is created. It is the ordinary shares. You can also write bank over here instead. Okay. This is yeah. happening 31 December 2018. Are you with me? Yes, miss. Come on, read ahead. So uh, for the 2019 year, the company pays a dividend on 15th May 2019 of 0 0.05 pence per share as an interim dividend and an 8% so final they dividend. They pay 0 0.05 pound per share as interim dividend. Yeah. Can you tell me the amount of dividend? Of 5,000. How? I just multiplied it with 100,000. 0 0.05 into 100,000. 100,000 <coughs> into how much? 0 0.05. Into 0 0.05. So interim dividend is how much? 5,000. So interim dividend is 5,000. And? And then... 
the final dividend is 8%. So 8% of 50,000. 8% of? 50,000. Okay. Gives you 4,000. So the final dividend is 4,000. I don't know why this account is there. So interim dividend, you are asked to calculate the total dividend. So can you give me the total dividend? 9,000. 9,000. Very good. So here you are asked to calculate the total dividend. Number of shares is 100,000. Nominal value is 0 0.50. So the total value of share capital is 50,000. Yeah. Interim dividend is 0 0.05 per share. And final dividend would be 8% of the total value. So yeah. your total dividend is 9,000. With me? Yes, miss. Okay, try to calculate retained earnings. I'm giving you time. 